In this video, we're going to talk about finding the milliequivalents of a compound. And so as we can see here, the question says, how many milligrams are in a milliequivalent of a sodium hydrogen carbonate? Okay. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is we are going to want to break it apart into separate molecules or separate elements. And so we have the Na, that's going to be one element, which is sodium, then hydrogen, which is another element, and then you have carbon, and then you have oxygen, but you have three oxygens. So see how there's the oxygen right there, carbon, hydrogen, and sodium right there. Now on the periodic table, and that's what this is called, this is called the periodic table, but it's going to have the element symbol, and it's going to have the, the mass of each element. So if you want to go ahead and look in your book, on the, the mass of each one. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and write them down. So the mass of sodium is going to be 23. The mass of hydrogen is going to be 1. Carbon is going to be 12. And oxygen is going to be 12. No, I'm sorry. Oxygen is 16. Multiply that by 3. And that's going to give you 48. All right, 48. So when you add these all together, that's going to give you 84. Four milligrams. All right. So now, that's going to be an important number to use. Right here, that's going to be an important number to use. Eighty-four milligrams. Now, each one of these elements has a charge. Okay. Um, there's going to be plus one, plus two, plus three, zero, minus three, minus two, minus one. And I'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and mark those so you'll be able to use and reference them in your book. But when you have the elements and they're going from top to bottom, that's going to be called group. So I'm going to reference them as groups, okay? So this is going to be group one right here. This is group two. That's group three, group four, group five, group six, group seven, and group eight, okay? Now, group one is going to have a plus one charge plus one charge. Group two is going to have a plus two charge. Group three is going to have a plus three charge. Group four is going to have a zero charge. Five is going to have a negative three charge. Six is a negative two. Seven is negative, negative one. Excuse me. So negative one. And then eight is going to have another zero charge. Okay. So with this, you're going to want to find find the elements that you have right here on the left and you're going to find what charge they have here on the right. So the sodium, it's going to be in group one, so that's going to have a plus one charge, a plus one charge for sodium. Hydrogen is also there, so that's going to be a plus one charge. Now carbon is in group four, so group four is going to have a zero charge. And then oxygen is going to be in group six, and that's going to have a negative two charge. Okay. Now, to find the milliequivalents, or to find the milligrams in a milliequivalent, you're going to want to take the greatest charge out of all of these, the greatest charge. The greatest charge is going to be plus one, because plus one is going to be greater than, plus one is going to be greater than minus two. And so you're going to do 84 milligrams divided by one. Now, when you do 84 divided by 1, that's going to give you 84 milligrams, okay? So, the answer to how many milligrams are in a milliequivalent of an NaHCO3, there's going to be 80, 84 milligrams in 1 MEQ of Na. HCO3. Okay? And that's going to be your answer right there. And that's how you do the milliequivalent. So go ahead and watch the second one if you want to do a couple more pro or maybe just another one or two more problems, okay?